idiomatic expressions. An idiom is a phrase or expression that typically presents a figurative, non-literal meaning attached to the phrase, but some phrases become figurative idioms while retaining the literal meaning of the phrase. In this uh, presentation, I shall be presenting to you a number of idiomatic expressions and we shall be dealing with their definitions, sentence examples, some with their origins and synonyms. The first idiom we have is it costs an arm and a leg. It means it was very expensive. A week at a health farm can cost an arm and a leg. This is an American phrase coined sometime after World War II. Probable reference is to soldiers who had lost their limbs in the war, thus having to pay a very high price for the war. It originates in Pharaonic Egypt. The man who lost an arm and a leg as punishment is depicted among the reliefs of the great temple of Karnak. If you visit the temple, check it out. It also originates from painting in the 15th century and later when portraits were popular. Arms and legs are difficult to paint properly. If an artist cited a price higher than the patron wished to pay, the artist might agree to do the painting for less with fewer, fewer or no limbs in the picture. Thus, the reduction in price could cost you an arm and a leg. The next idiomatic expression is break a leg. It means good luck. You have an exam tomorrow? Break a leg. This phrase has its origin in the world of theater. Performers had the superstition that saying good luck would actually bring them bad luck. So, break a leg was used instead. The third idiom is, I'm going to hit the sack, with, which means, I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to hit the sack. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. This phrase originated in America around the late 1800s to early 1900s when mattresses used to consist of old sacks filled with hay or straw. The next idiomatic expression is, it's a piece of cake, which means 
it's very easy. Giving Maria a makeover was a piece of cake because she's so naturally beautiful. It is believed that this phrase was invented in the 1870s during slavery in the southern states of America as part of a dance or celebration organized by slave owners. Black slaves would compete in cakewalks, performing a dance which imitated and subtly mocked the elaborate and ostentatious gestures of the white slave owners. The most elegant couple or team would be given a cake as a reward. It seems that the white slaves o slave owners didn't understand that they were being mocked in these elaborate cake walk dances and took great delight in watching their slaves emulating their refined behavior. The piece of cake that was awarded as the first to the best couple or team came The next uh, idiomatic expression is, I'm all bent out of shape, which means I'm upset. To take offense, to become angry, agitated, or upset. They stopped inviting him to the gatherings and he really got bent out of shape about it. The next idiom is hang in there, which means don't give up. I know you want to quit, but hang in there. Things will get better next time. The next is, I've let the cat out of the bag, which means I've told a secret by mistake. I have let the cat out of the bag. There's no point pretending that this job is working out for me. The phrase originates from markets where animals were provided in bags and piglets would be substituted by cats, which, when out, would be a surprise for the audiences. The phrase has been around since the 15th century. The first literary origin comes from the London Magazine in the year 1760. In fact, in the time frame of 1750 to 1770, there are many references found for the use of this phrase. The next idiom is, he is off his rocker. This means he went crazy. 
you must be off your rocker if you think that that's a good idea. Of one's rocker, the origin and meaning. To be unstable, insane, mad, or strange. In the good of old days, North American farm workers would relax, sitting on a rocking chair or a rocker, swaying back and forth to the sound of a banjo. Next idiom is I'm on the fence. That means I'm not sure what to do. You can stay on the fence any longer. You need to choose which of the two can candidates we should hire. The rain is heavy. I think it's not safe to drive the car now. It's raining cats and dogs. These are the idiomatic expressions for this presentation. Thank you for listening and thank you for being with me as I present these idiomatic expressions. Stay safe and have a nice, wonderful day and days ahead.